Oh yes, Renegade Platinum. What a fantastic ROM hack. Getting to experience my favorite childhood game with creatures who are edited with the intention to beat my ass. This game has many cool features like custom boss fights, an EVE trainer, fairy types, and so much more. I did this ROM hack in the past with what I called Hardcore Plus Rules, essentially banning EVs, setup moves, and adding extra level caps for non-gym leaders. But this time, as a better player, I wanted to return to the game with an even harder challenge to prove everyone that, well, I'm not sure what I'm trying to prove here, but it was a random idea that popped in my head one day. So basically this time around, I'd still be playing with the Hardcore Plus rules, meaning I can only get one Pokemon per Met location. I cannot overlevel the next boss fight, which includes rival fights, galactic bosses, the Aaron fight, all gym leaders, etc. Set mode has to be on at all times, no items in battle, absolutely no gaining EVs, and banning all stat boosting moves as well as Encore and Substitute. But there was one rule that was bigger than them all. I had to beat the entire game without losing a single Pokemon. In other words, it was the Deathless Nuzlocke. This was the first time anyone tried doing a Deathless Hardcore Nuzlocke, which actually started to become a trend, but this was before the days of Emerald Kaizo studying docs and knowing exactly what the AI will do in every scenario, so there was a big challenge in front of me. Now one great thing about Renegade Platinum is that it gives you a plethora of encounters to work with, so I was confident that I would always have some options for fights as long as I played optimally. As long as I played optimally. What could go wrong? Well, my first eight attempts died swiftly. <laughs> but we don't have time to mourn over petty losses. So let's skip to attempt eight, where I smashed Rourke. Never lost to him in this challenge. Quick flex, I know. I misclicked against Gardenia. Oh. I misclicked. I'm dead. My emulator's lagging, I misclicked. No fun. But then bodied the rest of her team with Monferno, Matang, and others. Easily beat Jupiter with Donphan and Milotic. Brick breaked Mira's Porygon 2 to oblivion with my adaptability Lucario. Then it was time for Eren. My plan was to lead Monferno and fake out. I mean, set up rocks and kill a few mons, then use my Lucario to definitely win against the plus four attack Sculpt Lens Sniper Drapion. Uh, of course he does. Plus four! Don't end the run, don't end the run, please. Don't end the run here, please. Yes! Oh my gosh! Then Fantina was next. Now I developed a pretty complex plan for Fantina that a lot of people use nowadays. But basically, if you have a male Umbreon and spammed Captivate against the lead Drifblim, the Drifblim will love you so much that it will kindly pass all the minus special attack debuffs into Miss Magius, rendering it almost completely useless. Then after that, Togekiss beats Spiritomb, Rest Sleep Talk Mon beats Banna and Dusclops, the only thing left to find is an answer for Gengar. Then we get to a very hard gym leader, Maylene, which requires some complex strategies, especially against her Lucario, but her whole team is full of threats. Now you know me, Master Nuzlocke Drew. I went into the lab and cooked up a strat to PB stall half her team and use the only possible safe strat against Lucario, Focus Sash, Fake Out, Close Combat, Infernape. So all I needed to do was edge my mons to the level cap and it would be GG from the get-go. Yes. <laughs> Attempt 11 was pretty solid. I had a Lucario and a Snorlax and some other good stuff. This time for Aaron, I bulldozed the Drapion with Graveler so my Lucario would outspeed. Oh boy. Come on. Yes! Okay. Okay. Come on, please. Yes! 
I had a very good team for Fantina, opting to use for Alligator instead of Umbreon for my Captivate lead. Time for our first melee fight. I pivoted between Umbreon and Gengar until Medicham died. Then PB stalled the Gallade with the same pivot and set up rocks with my Gliscor. I killed it with Tokus, so I would bait in Toskrog and kill that with Psychic. Then beat the Lucario with my Focus Sash, Fake Out, Infernape. Then I Toxic stalled the Machamp and used Choice Scarf Milotic to kill Infernape. Oh. Hurts me, I could be dead. Yes! Furthest attempt! Next was a tough berry fight. I countered the Staraptor, used Golem to beat Arcanine, used Venusaur for Breloom, killed Snorlax with Golem and Lucario, walled Heracross with Togekiss, and finally beat Empoleon with Person Berry for Alligator to play around Swagger. Now it was our first time against Wake. I just want to hit it, which I don't want to do. I want to talk to solve this. So maybe we Toxic, and then we go into Milotic, so... Okay, please Ice Fang, please Ice Fang, please Ice Fang. Okay, defense drop is detrimental right here. Oh my god. Oh my god! Okay. I was about to say, if this thing had like Hyper Cutter or something... <laughs> Do AI count crits and attacks? No. Okay, he crunched me. I'm dead to crit here. So what, dude? Oh my God. After that loss, there was a lot of struggles. I don't trust you. Broken out. <laughs> Alright, I'm clicking metronome. Oh, I got scratch. You. Alright, I'm doing it one more time. Oh, we got wood hammer. One more time. Tomb. Alright. Oh, God. There's crit. I was dead to crit. Got it. Bro. I should, though. Now I think is a great time to talk about a cool game-breaking strategy I developed. Repel Manips. Basically, if you repel with a certain level Pokemon in the front of your party, you can guarantee some broken encounters. Like 50-50 Growlithe on 202, Sneasel on 216, Gligar on 206, and Blissey on 209 as long as you already have a Starly. Like this. Octal. We got it. We got the chancey, boys. There we go. I finally got back to wake on my 19th attempt. I led with my Focus Sash Breloom, put the Quagsire to sleep, clicked Sunny Day, then Bullet Seed. Then Gyarados came out, I went to my Polyrath, clicked Toxic against the Gyarados, then spam Haze to negate the Dragon Dance. Next, Ludicolo came in and walled it with Blissey. Then Polyrath came in, and it couldn't touch my Milotic. The Sharpedo came out. I Moonblast that, and then Floatzel came out, which I beat with my Meganium. Next was a pretty hard rival fight before Celestic Town. I set up rocks on the Alakazam with my Blissey, and then I randomly switched into Gramble. Oh my gosh, what? My Crobat was able to beat the Gramble after going into it on a crunch. My Gyarados beat Licky Licky, my Infernape beat Mamoswine, I PB stalled the Vaporeon and killed it with my Infernape, and I got my Gliscor in on the Torterra. Next was Duroc, who was an added trainer to the game. Good lose. <laughs> All right, Zam comes in 100%, right? If Zam doesn't come in here, it's over. Love to see it. Beautiful bandit, right? Okay. I think we're just fine here. Just punch. What'd that do so much? Oh yeah, because we're reckless. Oh no. Oh 
Oh wait, he returned. <laughs> Six damage! <laughs> and Drex down. Easy clap. Then we get to Candlelight City and have another rival fight. Yo, what's up, Staraptor? <clears throat> Say hello to my little Pokeball. That's a Spex Thunderbolt. That's what we like to see. This is so good. This is why you choose Umbreon every single time as your evolution, guys. Every single time. Choose Umbreon. Delay to 31 to get Charm. Perfect Snorlax answer. Super dead to crit. Hopefully it's Arcanine. Reloom. Alright. Gotta love this set. <laughs> it's a big brain set. Oh gosh, thank goodness. VGC Meganium set. <laughs> oh man. Yo! Look at that damage. <laughs> Yikes. Whoa, buddy. Okay. But Reloom. What was this AI? This is the dumbest AI I've ever played against. Oh my gosh. This AI is so dumb. Just wait, just wait, just wait. You know how that Breloom swapped out, right? You know how that Breloom swapped out? <laughs> Alright, this Arcanine's dead. Oh no, Breloom swapped out. Now it's gonna come in. It's Grass type against Water type. Oh no. Oh no. Oh jeez, I'm in kill range from Bullet Seed. If I switch in with Meganium on a Stone Edge, I'm dead. I'm dead to crit. Oh my gosh, and I might be in random move range because Stone Edge probably kills my Lobic. Oh no. Oh no. Breloom's gonna come out. Oh no. Oh, here it is. Oh, here it is. It's dead to Silver Rocks. <laughs> Next, we have another really hard fight added to this game, Riley. This is always dead. This should always be I jump kick. If it's not I jump kick, it's very bad. Beautiful. That's fine. Okay. This is dead. Now, Earthstring should come in. That should do 62 to 74, I think. Alright, that's why I run... Oh, wow, that did a lot. Yeah, because it's naughty nature. Beautiful! Okay, now, we, now his power orb is gone. So I don't even have to click protect... Or, uh, click recover with Milo. Working for you, bud. Okay. Who comes in next? If it's Metagross, could be scary if he agilities. Here it is. If he agilities, it's uh it's a little scary. Also the EQ is just a little scary. Here we go. Magvet explosion. That would suck. Please just meter mash. Okay. There's agility. Here. But we gotta take one. If he if he crits me, it could be really bad. You wanna know what sucks? EQ did forty seven to fifty one too. Literally high roll crit, dude. Okay, you also want the Bidoof dupe. So. <gasps> no! 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 <laughs> and he crit me! <laughs> okay, he did confuse me. I. Oh, I hit myself again. Look at that. And I hit myself three times. Oh, he crit me. Don't miss. Um, fake out. He's infiltrator. Nice wing attack. Right above Sarfberry range. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered anyways. scary. It's unburdened. But then finally things started to get back on track. Okay. I'm gonna get rocks up first. Yeah. Bug buzz please? 
Okay, toxic. So we're gonna have to take another one. Yeah, I'm not using this for the rest of the fight. Okay. Hopefully it protects here. Okay, nice. We need a layer up. Nice. Give me another layer up. That does all. That was a crit. That's fine. All right, now we go crowbat. Kill this. Beautifully's dead. Venomoth's dead. Drapion comes in. Go to this. Oh, Sword Sense. He can't crit me. I always look uh, hit there. He's dead. Scissor comes in. Go Arcanine. And dead. It's free! What can I say? Alright. Moment of truth. We got Magnapol Magzone in the lead. Please! Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! We got it! <laughs> yes! And then finally on attempt 30 we got back to Riley. No! No! <laughs> Please! Please miss! Crit, 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 crit! Now we eye jump kicks. No. But I never gave up. I knew that this challenge was possible. So on the very next attempt, I played my heart out. But please. Oh, oh my god! <gasps> Give me Lucario, come on. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Goodbye. Absolutely shred. We're doing it. Okay. So this is completely random move. Which is fine. The only thing that's bad here is agility into Zen Headbutt Punch. We're fine. We are totally fine. 100 on the dot. So nice. Alright, Calc, don't fail me now. Don't fail me now, Calc. Yes! Oh my gosh. I'd rather be in with Gliscor. Okay. And there it is. After Byron and a few Galactic bosses, it was time for the seventh gym. I I forgot the name of this gym leader, so if you know the name of this gym leader, please uh, tell me in the comments below. Thanks. But I'm doing it. Power item lets us get the rain up. Should be wood hammer. Nice. No crit, beautiful. We got dodge crit. Just kidding. We have Magna Rise. Second turn to Magna Rise. No, that's very, very weird. So that's three turns of Magna Rise. I preferably not kill this. Okay, we got the high roll. So he still has Potion. Okay, Weavile, makes sense. Cool. This is very good. Might I say. You guys guess this is what he's gonna do. He's gonna crunch. He might Swords Dance too. Which is totally fine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. How many people can we kill here? It's one. If it's Glaceon, we get a kill. If it's Mamoswine, 
I got a Calcid, but I'm pretty sure we kill. If it's Wall Rain, we don't. If it's Frostlass, we don't. Alright. Going to the calculator. Close. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't heal here. If it does it, I'm throwing. Okay, yeah, we're fine. I'm Sash. Sketch? Not Sketch. Hope it doesn't happen. Yes! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, seven gems down. On one death equals reset hardcore plus nuzlocke of Rengate Platinum. Let's go. Seven gems down. After defeating a couple bosses in the Galactic HQ, it was time for the hardest fight in the game. The Dialga and Palkia fight, as well as... The Distortion World Cyrus fight. Oh boy, the music. Here we go. God. Oh my gosh, seeing these people on screen. So scary. Okay. So we have a sash, we're gonna have rocks up. Yeah, it's wrong on the dock, or on my dock, but we're gonna have rocks up. Protect. Hopefully that says over 50%. Okay. Should be earth powers. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Oh shoot. Okay. Hydro pump, right. Okay. Oh god, wait. Oh shoot. Okay. Okay. Okay, did over 50 at least. Okay. All right, this is my only play. Come on, double earth power, please. Please. Okay, don't crit me. Please. Don't do it. Oh my god. Yes! Okay, okay, we're in this, we're in this, we're in this, we're in this, we're in this. Okay, this is a problem though, because this is not infernate range yet. And, okay, so I think I need to get a hit in with Miss Magius. Don't hit Miss Magius. Don't hit Miss Magius. Oh, that could be big. Okay, he hit Miss Magius. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, double random move. Okay. Come on. Come on, just give me an aura sphere. Give me an aura sphere. Come on, please. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh my... Oh my god. Oh, that was so close. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, 
Okay, Choice Man Crobat. Okay, I need a rest here. Please don't get rock climb. Okay, nice. Shoot. Don't die, 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 don't die. Okay. Okay. Just wake up. Just wake up. Please wake up. Please wake up. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Don't burn. Okay. It's a little annoying. It's a little annoying. I think I can use ten for more. Nice. Then the crit. Come on. Come on, we gotta take this, we gotta take this, we gotta take this. Come on. Come on. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought that was a crit. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. For Sash. And we always outspeed. This crow is simping. Cyrus, you wish you were me. Oh my gosh. And with that, Cyrus is defeated. Zero deaths. On one death equals reset. Hardcore plus. Renegade platinum. Zero deaths past distortion world Cyrus. Okay. EQ's not gonna kill here, but with Hail, he'll be in ice shard range. I'm hoping that Rotom Heat comes in. If it's Raichu, that's fine. I just need to dodge a Spideff drop on my Executor. If it's Luxray, it's kind of scary. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Bad, but... I feel like Luxury's gonna come out on me. Okay. Um, I'm Scarf, but I don't outspeed. Just don't crit me. Please. Okay, okay. This is good. This is very likely for him to fire thing then. Oh no! Oh gosh, this really sucks because I need health for uh for Raichu. I'm taking so much damage here. I might have to risk crit against Raichu as well. doesn't really matter here. Okay. Um... 
Is there a chance this grass knots? Okay. Paralyze is so bad. Please. Okay. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh my god, no! Okay. Okay. We gotta attack now, I think. Breakthrough, come on. Okay. Dead crit now. It's a 3 a KO on this. Okay. Don't para me. Don't para. Okay, no crew, no para. That's nice. Good roll. Okay, I think I just gotta. Oh my god, no! Okay, I need dodge here. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I have cherry berry. Okay. 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 Oh, this is the one thing that can mess us up. Don't freeze. Okay. 68 to 80%. From a, from a, from Zam. Okay. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Enough. Okay, he does have a potion. Okay, come on. Just one. Please. Don't do it. Yes! Okay, that's bad. Oh my gosh. Okay. Don't T bolt. Oh my god, no 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Yes Yes We are almost at the end of the game. But we had Victory Road next. You see, in Renegade Platinum, Victory Road is not normal. There's an extra Marley fight and there's an extra Rival fight we have to get through. As well as, the Victory Road trainers are extremely tough. After getting past Marley and all the Victory Road trainers, we had to fight our rival again. I led with my Saviper and Sucker Punched the Xan, then switched in Miss Magius on a banded EQ and killed it with Moonblast. I went to my Porygon Z on the Torterra and killed that with Ice Beam. Next was the Gramble that got beaten by my Focus Sash Lucario, Lickitung got completely walled by Miss Magius, and Polyrath beat the Vaporeon. Now, the only thing standing before the Elite Four was Barry. I led with pre-damaged Magazone to bait Choice Scarf close combat into Miss Magius, swapped Lucario in on a Flash Cannon from Empoleon and killed with close combat. Used an Endure Focus Sash Gliscor to get Arcanine into EQ range after Flare Blitz. Focus Sash Star Raptor killed Heracross. My pre slept Crobat with Sleep Talk and Wing Attack beat Breloom. And finally, Snorlax couldn't touch Miss Magius. In Renegade Platinum, each Elite Four member as well as the champion have one of four teams, making team building especially tough for Deathless. But by now, I accumulated a great number of Pokemon, so I had a lot of options. I came up with a team of Typhlosion, which was the main Aaron Sweeper. It also had Adaptability and Eruption. Gliscor, who was the main defensive tank, had a ground immunity, and was important for Bertha and Flint. Mantine who was the main Spideff tank, who was important for Flint and Lucian. It was also a toxic staller. Pelipper, who was our drizzle rain support, very important for getting rid of sand on Bertha and sun on Flint. Love Disc, who was a special sweeper and paired well with Pelipper. It was also a fairy type at this game with 125 base special attack. And lastly, Metagross, who was mainly here to swap in on rock and psychic moves. Also had great matchup against specific Pokemon. Lead four trainer number one, let's go. Scyther. Nice, okay. Scyther, y'all mega pincer, scissor, flygon, drapeon. Let it erupt, baby. Let it erupt, baby, let's go. What's the percent chance, Oko? 
68%. Let it burn, baby. Let it burn. Goodbye. Should have won EXP, sure. <laughs> Granny is next, boys. Birthday time, boys. This is a little tougher. Okay, hip out on, hip out on, hip out on, please. Hip out on, please. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. This is really good. This is really good. Okay. No rocks for you. The only question I'm gonna have is does Love Disc kill Torterra? Other than that, it should be a clean sweep. Question is what comes out here? Pseudo Wudo. Okay. This is Head Smash or Wood Hammer. We go into this. Head smash is gonna hurt, or what a hammer. Okay, it's gonna hurt a little bit. Not too bad though. Okay. Then it should be sucker punch. If it's Rotera that comes out, I think I might be able to kill it. Don't me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Okay. It should be Torterra that comes out. Okay, nice. This should die. Should be Rhyperior here. We got a Calc. There's no other play. Beautiful. Oh gosh. We got hit in Aqua Tail. Oh! 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 Okay. Oh god. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, Aqua Tail so clutch. Boys, we're going to Flint. Oh, that was so scary. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Skinny Rapidash. Okay. Hmm. Hopefully it's not hypnosis though. Oh, he's solar beamed. All right, if we can get the range here, that would be amazing. Why did he solar beam? He had a sun boosted overheat. <laughs> oh, we got the range. Okay, nice. So now we can see what team it is. Okay, Met Cargo. Okay, this is the Met Cargo team. It should earth power because I put Aka Berry on this. Break the sash. Oh, it's Arcanine. Only thing you can hit me with is Crunch and E-Speed. Charizard comes out, makes sense. What? What? Drought? Drought? Hey, Drought, you there? Okay, so I protect here, then I fly. Yeah. Okay. Or it's still charging. Okay. okay. Yeah, this is just dead. And if, if it doesn't, he's just gonna solar beam anyways. Okay. 
All right, just loppity. <sighs> Woo! I'm actually dead to crit there. I might be dead at like high roll crit though. Okay, if this kills, that's really good. Maybe I need to make another play. Could not kill me with crit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good old Calx. Lucian time, baby. Oh boy. I'm I'm honestly surprised we made it this far. Preferably Hypno. Please Hypno. Come on, please. What's good about this lead is we're not going to get paralyzed on this. And we could solid the screens. Almost. Oh, reflect. Perfect. It's going to be slow, bro. I'm Scarf Typhlosion, actually. I think you win now. I still got to get through Gardevoir. I Toxic again here. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Should be Gardevoir Thunderbolt, I believe. Okay. So, my question is, does it have a chance to go for anything else? Because AI sees damage to Sperry. I feel like it might Moonblast. So we pivot this into Metagross. Don't crit, don't para. Glade. Amazing, okay. That's so good. Don't kill me. Oh, we outsped. Wait, what? Oh, it's not perfect IV, that's why. Oh, that's so good. So as long as we don't get frozen here. Okay. Yeah, it saw a kill with Blizzard, so it would obviously go for that. Hit the Psycho Boost. Calc said 91 to 107. Wait, so if I pivot Typhlosion, bait Psycho Boost back into Metagross, then he's at minus two, right? You can go Mantine. But then I'm always dead to Psycho Boost crit. Okay. I gotta hit this. Come on. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh. Woo! That's really good. This should kill. Iron Fist boost. Wait, I'm not Iron Fist. He pedal danced. I'm not Iron Fist, I forgot. Don't crit, okay. This is dead to crit, this is dead to crit. This thing can't touch. Obviously this is dead to Petal Dance. This thing can't do anything, I just gotta stand. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, so good. All right. Crap, we're actually doing it. Welp, okay, okay, hello. I don't think I'm dead to crit psychic. Right? I didn't calc this, okay, just barely. We get a U-turn off here. Maybe that was bad. Did like 70. Let's hope it doesn't matter. Boys, we're throwing. We're totally fine. <laughs> Never punished, boys. Never punished. <laughs> Never punished! <laughs> oh my gosh. I really want Milotic. I really, really, really want Milotic. Kiss. Okay. Okay. Reflect. Crit. Can I crit? Can I crit? Can I crit? Can I crit? He tailwinds. Okay. We're not gonna outspeed Lucario. I don't think Spiritomb outspeeds us though. Okay, that's one turn of tailwind. 
I think I'm fine. If I switch into Love Disc, that's two turns Tailwind, and then a kill, that's three turns. I think we're okay, as long as Spiritune comes in. Perfect. Okay, this should be, it should be Dark Pulse. I don't know. If he call Mines, it's not too bad, because we resist, and I think we could still kill. Okay, there's a Calm Mind. I don't know if this kills or not. I don't think it will. But I don't think Dark Pulse does too much. Oh my god! Hey! Hey! Any throwers? Yo, hey! Hey! Yo, chat, go open! Chat, go open! Two down. Tailwind should go out. I think Reflect is still up, though. Glaceon. There, I think there's like a... Maybe like 25% chance he blizzards here. Earth power, please. Yes! Struggle damage unlucky. Okay, it's Lucario. This will Stone Edge. So I pivot Metagross on Stone Edge. And then I go Gliscora on High Jump Kick. And then I go Typhlosion on Meteor Mash. This should be Meteor Mash. If he crits me, I might be in E speed range. Yes! Erupts. Erupts, let's go! Two left! Now here's the scary part. If I'm not in range of EQ, he might sword stance. And if he sword stances, I really hope I'm not in stone edge range. But I think I only have one play. EQ, EQ! He's stone edged. I he did he, okay, that was a kill. That was a kill he could have saw. Okay. Stone Edge should, should not kill. It should be Dragon Claw or Sword Dance. Yes! Yes! It's happening! It's happening! Get that kill. Yes! Milotic. <laughs> Milotic? <laughs> you better have Thunderbolt on this. You better have some HP electric. <laughs> Dies of poison, and we get crowned the king of Renegade Platinum, baby. It's over. It's over. Zero deaths. Hardcore plus Renegade Platinum. Oh. Oops. Zero deaths. Zero deaths. The entire game. Zero deaths. Hardcore plus rules. One death equals reset. Hardcore plus Renegade Platinum is over. It's over. Be prepared to enter a world stranger than you have ever imagined.